was there's tea without milk there's no rice and stew coming after that so if you go somewhere and they give you adam quotes masa that is your dinner eat well that's it culture shock hi everyone welcome back to la deutsche vita life in germany made in germany my name is phoebe and i am so excited that you are here with me today thank you for joining me thank you for sticking with me by returning subscriber hey and if you're a new one what are you waiting for like comment share subscribe and this channel is all about making your life in germany easier we're also going to be as from 2021, we're going to be talking about issues that concern us as women living in Germany, as, as women all over the world. We're going to be discussing so many more topics, not just life in Germany, but just so many more topics. So stay tuned. I'm just subscribing. Just stay tuned. OK, we're going to have a new name as well. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. Comment them in the um, comment section below. Let me know what you think this um, channel's name should be and there's going to be a separate video on that one as well also we are planning a giveaway so don't go anywhere just stay subscribed if you're not subscribed yet subscribe share to your friends and family for them to subscribe as well today's video is about my culture shocks in germany the things i have suffered <laughs> that have shocked me in my life in germany and just um on saturday just last weekend i celebrated my 16th year in germany and mostly i'm grateful mostly it's been it's been amazing and i am grateful to be here and i'm grateful at where i am today because i grew up partly in germany as well so yeah it's been bittersweet but the last moments or the last years it's been more sweet than bitter and i'm thankful for that so guys let's just start number one culture shock i mentioned that in my video um, about life in Germany and I mentioned that my first shock here was how quiet everything was how quiet everything was and how strict the noise regulation rules are so even without the regulations the whole place is just quiet and especially where the, the residential areas the place is just quiet okay hardly any noise Unlike in, back in Ghana where you wake up and your neighbor is playing music so you just dance along to this here nobody's going to play music for you to dance to for free my friend play your own music in your house nobody's here shouting and that lively that lively chaos that is in, in Ghana you won't have, have it here no 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 this place was quiet and as a child it shocked me number two traffic regulations <laughs> how people abide by traffic rules in germany was beyond me so when i got here i saw people stopping the car stopping at the zebra crossing for people to cross i'm like hold on who ghana zebra crossing you go you go wait to tomorrow unless it's it's in the morning like it's a school morning and the police is actually um directing traffic then the drivers would might wait or will wait but you are the traffic master tomorrow or they are pocho pocho mama pass pocho mama pass you you beg for them to allow you to go you know but three that was number two so number three added road yeah so there is breakfast around eight lunch between 12 and one and then if you're at home or it's a Sunday, there's cafe and kuchen. That's usually Saturdays and Sundays, cafe and kuchen, where the family bonds together over coffee, cake, pies, sweet stuff, you know. And then there's Abendbrot. That is then, if there's cafe and kuchen, it's mostly then around seven. But normally Abendbrot is around six, you know. And Abendbrot is Abendbrot. Abendbrot is evening bread. And it is bread. Bread with sausage, bread with, with ham, bread with cheese. And that's it. There's no rice and stew coming after that. So if you go somewhere and they give you Adam quotes, Masa, that is your dinner. Eat well. That's it. Eat well. Adam brot is Adam brot. Sometimes it comes, there's a salad as well, like, like potato salad or um, some kind of tomato salad or whatever. But eat, eat well. That's your last thing for the day. Eat. Okay. I didn't know that. I thought it was a snack. <laughs> so eat 
well. One thing that surprised me was kids calling adults by their names without uncle, auntie, mm -mm, even in the family. You, they call you by your name. So um, Phoebe is Phoebe, not sister Phoebe, not auntie Phoebe. And you are who you are. So that was a shock for me. But I enjoyed it because I've always wanted to try. <laughs> I've always wanted to try it. It's not a culture shock per se, but it's something that shocked me was how by 4 p.m., between 4 and 5 p.m., it will get dark in the evenings, totally dark. And then in the mornings, we'll be going to school, we'll be leaving the house like around 7, and it, it still would be dark. I would have to reach school before the, the skies would open. And that was a big shock for me. It was something I couldn't deal with. My body couldn't accept that I was going to school at dawn. Dawn. I just couldn't accept it. <laughs> In winter, once it's 6 p.m., it's dark. It's it's night time. That was another thing that I couldn't deal with. But, but on the other hand, in summer, it's 10 p.m. at night, but the sun is just about to set, and that also threw me off. So I'd always close the the blinds, in able in order for me to be able to sleep. It just really confused me but now I'm used to it and I appreciate the longer brighter days and I don't really um roll with the winter timings with the winter daylight setting and stuff but the summertime is good and as early as five the sun is out between five and six it's out it's not like in Ghana where it was six to six all the time or mostly most of the times but here 10 p.m in summertime it's, it's bright, okay, it's bright. Another culture shock I had was there was no assembly, there was no parade when you go to school. So once at 7.45 and class is supposed to start at 7.45, the teacher just walks in. There is no morning devotion with the whole class, the way it was in Ghana. There was no parade, like assembly, they'll be doing the roll call and march to your classes. Niente, nada, next, next stuff on. You just go and sit in your class, the bell will ring ding dong dong and you know class stuff. Another thing that was a culture shock for me was basically how nudity is tolerated. You know, coming from a Ghanaian background, even wearing a short skirt will get you into trouble with some auntie who is not even your family member but on the road, you know, somebody would just criticize you and all of that. But here, there are actually beaches, nude beaches, where nobody's wearing anything, okay? So you will go there in your swimwear and the people are naked, totally naked, splitter, nacked. And that was also a, a shock for me. But yeah, not all beaches are like that, but there are beaches where you find only naked people. <sighs> Another thing is they would invite me for birthday parties and they wouldn't invite my brother as well. Yeah. <laughs> of course, the, the, the age difference was four years. Oh, it's still four years but I just couldn't get why in Ghana like the party always had all sorts of age ages around so even if it was my 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 party I come with my brother and because the celebrant also has a brother within that age group and it was just it was actually the whole community's party but in Germany if they invite you to be for a party Alex Jr. is not coming he's not why because they are not friends Mm -mm. The same thing with everything is by invitation and strictly by invitation. I like that though. It helps you budget. I like that. Another thing is there is appointments for everything. You have to call and make an appointment for everything. Everything. So even if I want to see my mom, I have to call her and ask her, Ma, are you home? Ma, I can't just go and sit in the house and wait for it. You cry. You cry. You don't have that time. You don't even have that time. So. There's, you have to make an appointment for everything. Hardly do you walk in, even to make your hair, you have to make an appointment. And if you're late, you pay. You pay half price. Yes, you pay half price, half front, up front, before they let you go in. So, for everything, to do your hair, to cut your hair, everything goes with appointment except grocery shopping. But even then, they close at 10 and they're not open on Sundays. So, da da. Mm -hmm. and that, talking about shopping another sh shock that I had was that market days were fixed days 
So it depends on where you live. Market day is either Tuesdays and Saturdays, Wednesdays and Saturdays, but there will never be a market day on Sundays. If there is something like that, then it's the flow market, flea market, where people are selling their personal stuff. But market days are fixed days, okay? If you miss that day for fresh um, products or fresh produce, you go to the supermarket. End of story. End of discussion. Another culture shock I had concerning food <laughs> was there is tea without milk. Fruit tea without milk. You know, coming from Ghana, we normally take the black tea and we take it with milk and sugar like the British do. But here, there was strawberry tea, there was raspberry tea, there was all kinds of fruit teas, no milk. You just, you just drink it as dark as it is. No lightning. Nah, 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 nah. That was another culture shock for me. I don't even know how many we have now. I've lost count. <laughs> One thing that I was, I was taught growing up, especially my parents and my grandma taught me this was, you don't walk as you eat or you don't eat as you walk. You buy the food outside, you come home, you take a plate, put your foot on the plate and you start eating. You don't walk and eat at the same time. It is not ladylike. Germany, you walk as you eat. In fact, people walk and eat all the time. They buy their burgers, they're eating. They buy their caribos, they're eating and walking because they're going somewhere and eat. People actually be holding their, their boxes and they're eating, like their noodle box, and they'll be eating and be going. So that was another shock for me. And I don't particularly enjoy doing that a lot because I like to sit down and enjoy my food. But that was something that for me, it was not allowed where I'm coming from, but everybody else was doing it culture shock hi another thing that gave me a shock was that when you go out to eat with your friends male or female if you're in a good mood you can say oh i'm inviting you like i'm paying for you it's like this i but if you go out with friends you pay for your own thing right you don't it's, it's similar to going dutch but here you pay for what you order but in holland or in the netherlands you you all chip in and pay like pay something to foot the whole bill but in germany you pay what you order so if i go out with my friend and i order something for 30 years and they order for 15 years they're not going to leave their 15 years to come and pay for my 30 years i pay my 30 years they pay their 15 years simple as that and it's good because you, you know what you're eating by yourself you know what you order on the first date that one is another issue some people think he should pay everything some people think you should you should split or whatever but i'm not here to discuss that all I know is when you're going out with friends, you, you carry your own weight financially. And one thing that I, I have been shocked by is the German bluntness. Um, Ghanaians, we are trained to sugarcoat things. Even if you're going to say the truth, say it in a way that the person can receive it and receive it without damages. But in Germany, there is no sugarcoating. If you have bad breath, they'll say, hey, why does your mouth smelling? Or if you have body odor, has to get douched by those things. Listen, German bluntness is German bluntness. No filter. You think it's the kids that are blunt, but even the adults are blunt. Germans are blunt. They are just honest. And if you ask them something, be prepared to hear the truth. <laughs> it is what it is. Now going into workforce. Um, in Ghana, there was this thing that you have to serve your boss. Like, for example, your boss could call you at any time and say, hey, go and buy me lunch. Come and take money and go and buy me lunch. Or um, even if it's not part of your job, like your job description doesn't have to do with you going out running such errands. It has nothing to do with the job or to the co with the company. But a Ghanaian boss can call you and be sending you errands. Go and buy it to my wife. In Germany, no. I once watched my boss clean his own, like wash his own plate. And I, I, I called my mom, I was like, hey, ma, and then boys, not who shouldn't change. I'm not going to change, but I'm just not going to If my boss is watching this, hi, chef. <laughs> but yes, yes, I didn't know what to do because coming from the, I left Ghana very early, but I still experienced this because my mom was a boss as well. And it was normal for store employees to even like transcend into home activities like they would run other errands that had nothing to do with the shop. But here, no. My job ends where my job ends. Whatever is in my contract, that's what I'm supposed to do. Anything beyond that, you can actually say no. That's not in my contract. I don't have to do it. And there's nothing your boss can do. And that was a shock for me. 
so guys you have come to the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed it let me know what your culture shocks were where are you right now are you away from home what are your culture shocks in the place where you have been and of course i've been to other places in the world like let's say dubai vietnam cambodia the us um spain yeah spain portugal italy Switzerland. Let me know if you want to hear my culture shows in those countries, but especially Vietnam and the UAE. Let me know if you want to hear about my culture shows in those countries as well. I'll tell you gladly. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video to this point. I hope you enjoyed it. What are you waiting for? Like, comment and share so your friends will also know how life in Germany is. And yes, see you same time next week. Bleib zuversichtlich, bleib gesund. Stay hopeful, stay safe, stay healthy. Tschüss!